Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do row positions. Now when we are talking of row positions, it means that you have a certain amount of people that are sitting together, but what happens is they want to group up in a certain style. Or you maybe have a few things that you want to set in order like books, but they have to be put in a certain way. Now we want to decide how many alternatives are there to this. Let's take the first one. They say, in how many ways can they sit if there are two boys and three girls? Now, if there are two boys and three girls, it means I have five people. Now, if people are sitting down, once you sit, the first person would have five options, isn't it? But once he sits down, then the next person would only have four options because that space is no longer available. Okay. So what we are doing is we are using the factorial. The number of arrangements is going to be based on a factorial. The reason for that is because if you have five spaces, the next one would be four, the next one would be three, the next one would be two. So using that concept, five times four times three times two times one, we're using the factorial concept. So if we have five people, then the answer would be five factorial which is equal to 120 options. Now let's take the second one. It says that if a girl and her boyfriend want to sit together, if you have a certain event happening in this position setting, the best way is to group that adjustment. Now once you do the group adjustment, then do a factorial for the group. Because what happens is, let's say I've got the girl and boy. The girl and boy want to sit together. But they could also sit as in boy and girl. Now, what would the factorial be? There are two of them. Instead of writing these options down, we know, okay, they are two kids. So the factorial for it would be two. So what we're going to do is we're going to group that adjustment. So if you take, we initially had five positions. One two, three, four, five. There were five people. What we're going to do now is we're going to group this. So this is now going to become one position. Then we'd have two, three, four. Now, in the one that we grouped, how many are there? There are two. So I'm going to say two factorial and I'm going to times it by one, two, three, four factorial. And if you use your calculator, your answer would be 24. So there are 24 different positions that they can sit in. Now it's quite easy. If you follow this rule, you tend to be able to do a lot more work. Let's take the next one. It says that just the girls are to sit together. Now we have three girls. So if we take, we know we have five positions. The girls want to sit together. So that is three spaces that we are joining and we are now making it one. So we have one, two, three. So the adjustment is three factorial. But we must also do a factorial for the group. How many in the group? Three. So our final answer is three factorial times three factorial, which is equal to 36 different positions. Okay, now let's look at the next one. It says that just the boys are to sit together. Now, how many boys we have? We have two boys. So if we look, we're going to say we still have one, two, three, four, five. What we're grouping is this one. In this one, we're going to make that one, two, three, four. So we have four factorial. But the adjustment for our group is 2 factorial. That would give us an answer of, remember you can use your calculator for this, it's 4 factorial times 2 factorial, which is equal to 48. Okay, now, the next one says, how many positions can we get if the boys and girls are each to sit together? So what they're saying is that we have 5 positions. But... We have two boys and three girls. Now the two boys want to sit together and the three girls want to sit together. So what we've done is 
we've grouped that specific adjustments and once we grouped that specific adjustment we know the factorial for that is 2 and the factorial for the next group is 3 but what else we have to do is how many positions do they make now once we consider the group as one position how many alternatives do we have in this one we have one alternative here and we have two alternatives here so it's going to be 2 factorial so we're going to say 2 factorial for the two groups so if you take it we only have two places because this forms one place and this forms one place so we only have two positions so then you're going to use your calculator 2 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial which is equal to 24 so we only have 24 positions right now the last one says if the boys and girls are to alternate that means you said girl boy girl boy girl boy now look right you have three girls and two boys if I put a boy here and then a girl and then a boy and then a girl look what happens at the end I don't have an alternating cycle they want them to alternate the only option we have is if we have the girls sitting in these positions and we have the boys sitting in these positions so the only one way that we can set it is girl boy girl boy girl boy we cannot adjust it in any other way so the only way that we have is one but what we can do is we can change the boys and then we can change the girls as we want so our final answer is 1 factorial times 2 factorial times 3 factorial which gives you 12 remember sometimes when you're doing this you need to think out the answers sometimes it's not as easy as the groups but most of the time the group rules will work now let's take the following one you have four science textbooks three maths textbooks so we have four science three maths three life science and two history books in how many ways can they be arranged now we've got four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we have twelve books they're not giving us any specific arrangement any specific position so we know our answer is simply twelve factorial now look at the second one it says if they are arranged so that the subjects must be together how many arrangements can we make now we know we've got 12 lines 1 2 3 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 four science books three maths books three life science books and two history books now if I'm going to do the factorial for science it's going to be 4 factorial for maths it will be 3 factorial for life science it will be 3 factorial and for history it will be 2 factorial once I group them then I must see how many positions do they make if you look we are making 1 2 3 4 so we can also change them in 4 positions so our final answer is 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Remember you can use your calculator for this answer. And our final answer is 41,472 different positions. Thank you for watching.